All right, ooh. Oh, that's my coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, last night I was on YouTube and got sniped into watching this video called my best and worst purchases of 2019. So I couldn't resist. I decided to make my own video because I feel like it's really useful and kind of addicting to watch people talk about their favorite purchases and you're like, maybe I should make that purchase if it really brought them joy every single day of a whole year. I tried to think of my worst purchases and I was like, I don't feel like I have a ton of worst ones and if I did make bad purchases, I think I just returned them. I can think of a couple tripods for my vlog camera. I really disliked. So I was like, let's just keep it happy. My 19 best purchases of 2019 and we're gonna go through the list right now. Hold your horses, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Also, of course, I'm gonna link all of this stuff. This is in no particular order, but here we go. My number one best purchase of 2019 is Ding, 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 what I'm sitting on, my couch. I haven't had a couch in so many years. My little butt would sit either on my bed or on my desk chair or on the floor. So I have a couch and I feel like a queen. I bought it from Living Spaces and they sell spill insurance, which if you know me, I literally spill 17 times a day because I have butterfingers. I bought spill insurance for $150 for the next five years. Any sp If I stay in this couch, they will come and fix it for free. Living Space is what's up. I was on the prowl for a couch and as you know, the internet hears you say couch one time and then it starts giving you all these couch ads. Anyway, I was on my computer on Facebook and got this ad for Living Spaces. Told Johnny, my boyfriend, I was like, babe, I found this amazing place called Living Spaces. And he literally laughed in my face because I guess in California, literally this is so commonplace. I walked into Living Spaces a couple weeks later. It's huge. It looks exactly like a pottery barn except everything is like a quarter of the price. Great place to get couches. Freaking love this couch. It's called the Utopia Couch. Love it. Hands down, one of my best purchases of 2019. Gorgeous. I love you couch. I love you so much. I'm gonna sit on you right now. Honestly, get a couch. It's freaking so good. Okay, I gotta get my list because I forget. My number two best purchase of 2019 is my Ikea mirror. It's full length mirror. It's the first full length mirror I've had I think in my whole life, and I would always go into people's apartments and see their full length mirrors and they would take their selfies of their whole outfits head to toe and I would literally be jealous. Love Ikea because it's honestly has really good prices. I think this was $129 for this, this mirror that sparks joy every day and I love it so much. I can actually see head to toe my entire outfit. Check out all the new shoe options I've been wearing, donning lately. It makes me feel like I'm living in a hotel room. It's so nice. My number three best purchase of 2019 are my silk sheets. I have silk pillowcases, silk sheets, and a silk duvet cover, this beautiful set, champagne colored. It is so luxurious. I literally feel like Blair, Blair, don't know. Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl every day. Between the Ikea mirror and these sheets, my room has transformed into a hotel. You know that sleeping on silk is really good for your skin. It's anti-acne and anti-aging, which is great. You're not gonna wake up with all those like wrinkles on your face when you sleep for 12 hours straight, you know what I'm saying? Or you hit a hardcore nap. And it's trying, it's like sort of compelling me not to eat food in bed because I don't want to ruin them, but I'm not gonna lie. I've eaten twice in my bed and I've stained them twice. But I do have a tie to go pen on the side. Look at these sheets. How mm, so luxurious. Luxurious. Oh. Hello. My name is Silk and I love it and I want to eat it. Yum, yum. Huzzah. Favorite purchase of 2019, number four. My coffee machine, Mr. Coffee. Here's the deal, I've had it all. I've had a Keurig, I've had an espresso, still have an espresso, but I literally never use it. I finally threw the Keurig out. I kind of broke it when I moved one time. I would always go to people's homes and I'd be like, I just like your coffee better. It tastes like classic coffee. Well, guess what they're using? A Mr. Coffee. And my mom told me, buy the cheapest one because you can always replace it and the coffee is really good. I bought my Mr. Coffee. It's the best. I brew a whole brew thing, a whole Thing. It lasts me like two or three days. Sorry if that's gross, but I just reheated in the microwave. That's that. I'm gourmet now. Mm, 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 mm. This mug says good morning. Bleep that out, okay? Product number five. This one I'm kind of cheating because it's like 16 different products. One of my seriously favorite, favorite things I bought all year is my Rodan and Field skincare. And I'm just gonna quickly show you my favorite, favorite ones. I use about like 30 something of their products, 
but I'm just gonna do the ones I like the most. And it's hard to pick. I'm 26, I don't want crow's feet, I don't want wrinkles, this is what I'm using. I have sensitive skin. They have this four step soothe regimen that's for sensitive skin and this is what got my skin glowing from the inside out. I'm gonna show you a really recent photo of my skin that looks super dang, dang, blanketing good. Well, so first I use the Soothe Regimen and then this other new regimen called Recharge. It's three steps and it's for 20 something. Cleans out all my pores, takes my makeup off, all the good stuff, moisturizing treatment, but it has a super power ingredient called glutathione. And this is what starts leaving your skin in your 20s. And it's responsible for having young looking skin. This puts it back in there. This honey is the best. This is an SPF, but also can be used as a makeup primer. It's literally this strawberry, moussey, the best thing ever, velvet. It's whipped. You put on your skin, you literally are in heaven. I don't, this is only for the morning time, and I'm literally mad when I don't get to use it at night. There's this microdermabrasion paste, which apparently, I didn't know for 26 years of my life, if you're not exfoliating your skin a couple times a week, you have all this dead skin cells, like all these clogged pores going on, and if you're spending money on skincare, it's not getting inside to do with all its good stuff. This is sugar and salt. I've never had skin that felt like a baby's butt before. Well, this is doing that for me. Oh, bing boom, lash boost. I have super light, thin, blonde, blonde, blonde eyelashes. And this, I've been putting on my eyelashes every day and they are thick, dark, and long, and full. And I feel like confident without any makeup. And then this, active hydration, bright eye complex. I'm putting it under my eyes for under eye circles. Okay, this is my arsenal. I literally use more, but I wasn't gonna show you at all. Okay, like how are people good at making these things look good? You know, when they take like a picture and it's like, oh, look how beautiful my stuff is. This is not cute. My number six favorite product of 2019 are my, my all white feelers. Come on, I have to put this on there because literally I wear them every day, every day. I wear them with dresses, I wear these when I perform. Oh, and popular to contrary belief, no. Contrary to popular belief, these are not the shoes that I wore on American Idol. I wore these shoes called Naked Wolves and they're way more expensive. And honestly, I don't really recommend them. I think they're a waste of money. Go get yourself some if you don't have any. Purchase number seven, another staple. My IMG a coat. Okay, come on. This coat, something I wear every day. This coat, oh, by the way, these are super oversized. This is an extra small, so we're clear. Go smaller than you think because they're very oversized. And let me tell you the good things about it. These pockets, are so big. These pockets got me through filming American Idol. I would hide a Red Bull, a huge alkaline water bottle, all my lyrics, my phone, my headphones, a humidifier, all this stuff in here. And guess what? You know how many times I've spilled Red Bull in this whole thing? Throw it in the washer. It looks so good. I even had somebody be like, I'm gonna buy this off of you used. The combo of these, this is all you've seen me in every single day. I think they sell for about 90 bucks. I'm gonna link it. So just go buy it. Just go buy it. You'll be warm. I'm now sweating, so I gotta take this off. My number eight best purchase of 2019. Can we see these? Okay, these jeans. Let me give you a little spiel on jeans. I've hated jeans my whole life. They're so uncomfortable and I felt like so restricted in them. I would only wear basically legging. I invented the legging jean before. I would go to limited two and had this one pair of black stretchy pants. Should have bought like five pairs of them because I wore them every single day. My mom was like, we should frame these. And I've never in my adult life found a pair of jeans that I actually love and they're just comfy. They're high waisted enough. But these are Agled jeans. They're size 25. You buy your size, but they have all these buttons. They're super high-waisted, like you can't even see my belly button, which is what I love. The best jeans, and I never recommend jeans. I'm just gonna keep these on for the rest of the show. Number nine, best purchase of 2019, my Erin Condren planner. I'm a huge philosopher about planners. I've been addicted to my planner since at least fifth grade. I write everything I do down here, and I save them too. You could ask me if I took a shower on March 23rd, 2007, and I could tell you because I would have written it down and crossed it off. I look like a crazy person all the time. I don't even wanna show you. Best thing ever, this keeps me sane. Honestly, the power of writing things down to get things done is amazing. And what I love about these planners is I'm really particular over the years. I've never been satisfied with a planner. It's either not hard bound so I don't love it or it's not spiral like this so I can't write on one side or there's not enough room every day to write things down. That's a big one for me. I have a lot of specifications. There's a lot of space for each day, like tons of room. And then at the bottom, there's a little note section. And do you know what I write? I write my goals for every single week. It helps me see them and I get things done. The best, I already have my 2020 planner, also Erin Condren. And I love the pink, come on. Mm, into it. Aaron 
Conjuring Life Planners bring me joy every single day and they also bring me sanity. So I talk about them for a long time. Number 10 best purchase of 2019 is my non-slip Gaiam yoga mat. I do hot yoga five to six to seven times a week. It's super hot and slippery and I've never found a yoga mat that I really, really love that is thick enough that like your wrists don't hurt if you're not, if you don't have like the perfect technique, which most of us don't probably. I freaking love it. I use it every day. It's in my car. My number 11 and 12 best purchases of 2019 are food related, because Margie Mays gourmets. Number 11, Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. It's got sea salt, garlic, onion, sesame. This stuff is the best. It transforms every avocado toast situation or bagel situation or any situation. Fire good. This is Number 12, also crack, which is why it's fully empty. Trader Joe's hot and sweet jalapenos. I, I put both of these on my breakfast every morning, which is two rice cakes with avocado, tomato, and these two things, and mustard, but that's weird, so I wasn't gonna talk about it. Oh, this is like super dirty, so I should probably stay away from my white couch. I'm eating good in the hood every day, and these are budget friendly. We're on to purchases 13 and 14, they're jewelry. Let me give you the 411. Number 13, my Uncommon James earrings. If you know, I'm obsessed with Kristen Cavallari. Her jewelry is really good. I'm wearing the hoops right now. Her girl boss earrings, which she wore in her show, Very Cavallari, and they're the best. Both of these were a gift from my boyfriend. And let me tell you a little bit of something. He's had a hard time getting me gifts because I'm always like, oh, I sort of don't like this. But then we discovered Uncommon Jane's and I pretty much like all their earrings on the website so he can't do any wrong. He picks them out himself and I love them. And what I really love about them is that they're affordable but not cheaply made. My ears are bougie. They get really itchy and irritated if it's a cheap earring. These guys do not infect my ears. I wear them all the day and these are the boss of earrings. And I just freaking love her, so yeah. I just want to be early and it's really tough, okay? Number 14, also a gift from Johnny. Oh. The sweetest thing he got me for Valentine's Day is this tiny little Kate Spade necklace with a tiny little M on it. I really love tiny, tiny little dainty necklaces. I legitimately never, ever, ever have taken this off since he got it for me. These bring me joy every day and Johnny picked them out, but I would have purchased these for myself. They look up, uh, brings me so much happiness. Okay, number 15, best purchase of this year. My Warby Parker, oh, you can see the ring light. Blue light glasses. One, because I feel like a smart girl in them. Since I was a child, I've always wanted three things growing up. Braces, glasses, crutches. Did get braces, never got crushes, never got glasses. Well, anyway, this year, I started noticing my eyesight was getting a little blurry. I was like, shoot, I'm gonna have to go to the eye doctor. Like, I officially need glasses at 26. Well, turns out, I was getting dizzy and affected by the blue light from my phone when I stare at my phone too long. You don't have to get these at Warby Parker, but I specifically loved these. I've never felt smarter. Number two of my dream list, braces, glasses, get to have them. And I don't get a headache when I stare at my phone for a really long time. Clutch, freaking love them. And they have free repairs, I'm pretty sure. Like if you scratch them up, you can go. Number 16, my Fabletic sports bras. Okay, anyone who has been my friend in the last 10 years has seen my sports bra situation. Awful. They're really old Target sports bras. Whenever I jump around, which is like every day in my workouts. These are bouncing and it looks so, I just have to go like this. It's. It really messes with my cardio. Fabletic sports bras are freaking what's up. I'm wearing one right now and my boobs stay in place, which is what's up, I need that. It's a step up from Target, I'm not gonna lie. Number 17, best purchase. I did not intentionally find this. Johnny and I were in San Francisco, super late. We went to like a Ralph's or a Vons. Found this coconut miracle oil conditioner. Just watch my face when I smell it. Oh, really? <laughs> This smells so good, it burning. So I'm gonna take this off now. The silver lining of all of this is that it's in my nostril and now literally all day I'm gonna be smelling it. Your hair will thank you. They also make a shampoo of it and they make a lotion. It's freaking great. Well, that's that. I have the conditioner in my nose, which is the one place I'd like it to be. We've made it to the bottom of the list. Number 18, my ring light. It's being used right now. It lights my face up. Great freaking selfies, great vlog material. You need a ring light in your life. Get it on Amazon, I'll link it. I love you, Mr. Ring Light. You've been amazing to me all my life. What a stud right there. But <laughs> My number 19, best purchase of 2019. My, my vlog camera. Trusty old vlog camera, using it right now. This little guy right here. 
You, you right there allows me to connect with you guys on YouTube and make my videos. It's so fun and I get to document my life in this really cool way and make these memories that I wouldn't have saved otherwise. Love it. I'm going to link the one that I have. What I really love is this one has like a flip up screen so I can see myself, stare at myself. Best 19 purchases of 2019. Every single one of them that I listed brings me so much happiness every day. Go buy all 19 things. You won't regret them. Let me know if you have any of these things. Okay. I love you. Marie Kondo says, is that her name?